Welcome to the Day Weather Podcast. It's March 11th, 2020. And boy, folks, we've got a lot to talk about. The weather is starting tomorrow and heading into the weekend and next week and to get very busy, very complicated. It's going to be kind of hard to keep track of things. It is March. We showed you a slide earlier this week of chaos where you have a lot of disagreement in the models. You have a lot going on across the northern hemisphere. This is typical as we change seasons. So we have our work cut out for us to try to get a handle mainly on the details of the weather. We know for sure it's going to be getting colder, more unsettled, and we know for sure that over the next couple of weeks we're going to get wet and we're going to get white. We just have to figure out the timing of the systems and how much wet and how much white we're going to get. So let's kind of take things bit by bit for the rest of this week and into the weekend. We've got a lot of talk about with next week's weather, but with today's podcast, we'll focus in on the first two events coming on through. The first event is a cold front dropping south out of Montana. Now it's rather innocuous. The jet stream pattern today is showing the ridge building up in the Gulf of Alaska. We got that California low, and the jet stream straightens out, and this is gonna mean pretty mild air across the high plains and Rockies today. But you see this little kink in the jet stream. This is an upper level disturbance. It's gonna drive a cold front out of Montana and through Wyoming into Colorado and Western Nebraska tonight and tomorrow. Now, there's not a lot of precipitation with this, but the I-90 corridor for Sheridan and Gillette and Sundance into Rapid City, there's gonna be a quick one to three inches of snow tonight. There could be some snow overnight into tomorrow morning for Douglas, Casper, Lusk over to Shattered, Nebraska, and then across the rest of Southeast Wyoming and Northern Colorado, there's gonna be a few rain and snow showers as well. This front will mainly miss areas west of the divide, but temperatures today are gonna to be 50s and 60s to near 70 in some areas. But behind this cold front, it is gonna be 20 to 30 degrees colder. So for Thursday into Friday morning, colder air will settle on in. Then here comes the next system. Again, this doesn't look like much, but this is for Friday afternoon. You see this little trough? Notice when we say a trough, it's when we have a dip. It looks like a trough in the jet stream coming on through. Well, this little guy right here is not very different than the system that brought us some rain and thunderstorm activity Sunday night into Monday morning. But since this cold front coming in tonight and tomorrow will bring in much colder air to this area right here, well, as this wave comes through during the day Friday into Friday night, it's going to make it snow. Again, not a big storm system, but there's going to be a little bit of snow coming to some front range areas and some, some high plains areas Friday and Friday night. Then, of course, you see this right here. Look at this high pressure ridge. This is impressive, building up into the Gulf of Alaska. And remember, when there's a ridge up here, we go into the fridge. We get a lot colder then this guy right here is going to be a troublemaker for many days to come. And we'll show you that in a minute because that low is going to come in quickly behind this one coming through on Friday. So we've got a cold front tonight and Thursday, a small little system coming in Friday and Friday night. And this is the precipitation totals. This is liquid precipitation. If we were to measure it, We'll show you the snow graphic here in a minute, but you can see good rain in Arizona, California, into parts of Utah, into southwest areas of Colorado. Gonna be some significant mountain snows right here with this system here, with rain and snow in the valleys. Then this breaking out here is gonna be a rain-snow mix turning to snow as we get into Friday and Friday night. We need to watch that. There's a little bit of a front range Colorado hole with this, and we think that will be the, the trend, but the Colorado mountains get into the act. Then notice the snow in Wyoming's mountains. This is gonna be some snow here on the plains. It's not gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be enough of a nuisance for travelers. We also want to highlight the fact that stock growers, now that calving seasons are getting going in many areas, colder wet conditions, will come in late tonight and Thursday and again on Friday. This is especially true for livestock interest out into this area here. You're going to want to watch it. Now, as we get further out with the snowfall totals, these are snowfall totals through Saturday. 
So you can see parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, Eastern Wyoming, gonna get, not a lot, a little bit of snow. And it's gonna be a wet snow. It's not gonna be sticking to everything. It's gonna be a typical March snow where it snow settles and melts a bit. It doesn't pile up too much. And you can see that the mountains are getting into the action. Now, let's go talk a little bit about the longer term. This is an upper level forecast at 500 millibars or 18,000 feet for Sunday afternoon. Notice we have this configuration we've showed you all week. High pressure in the southeast, high pressure in the Gulf of Alaska. This is a typical configuration of the pattern that makes it stormy in the Rockies and high plains. We have this upper level low by Sunday throwing a lot of Pacific moisture this way. So the Pacific Northwest, California, and this area I'm outlining right here, during the course of the day, Saturday, let's say Saturday night, into the course of the day, Sunday into Monday, that area I outlined right there is gonna get rain, they're gonna get snow. This is a chunk of cold air that's gonna be drawn in by this low as it digs further south. By next Wednesday and Thursday, the storm, look at this, it just is still there. This is Sunday, this is Thursday morning. This upper level low just wants to park itself in the Western United States because it can't go anywhere because of the big high in the Southeast, the big high in the Gulf of Alaska, just drives the flow of air into the Western United States and wants to hold it there. So what this means is a prolonged period of unsettled colder and wet weather. This is out to 15 days, March 26th. Notice, the high pressure ridge remains in the Gulf of Alaska. The high pressure remains in the southeastern United States. This means a prolonged period beginning next week and going for probably two weeks of colder and occasionally wet weather in the Rockies, the High Plains, and the western United States. This is some really cold air that could sneak in here during the second half of March. So although March has started off with some pretty warm, Mild temperatures, don't put away those jackets, those snow blowers, the snow shovels yet. I know some folks went golfing last weekend. But leave the golf clubs next to the snow blower. We'll update you more tomorrow and Friday as we'll try to sort out the details. Lots of weather ahead. Thanks for listening and watching the Day Weather Podcast.